And today I'm having lunch with my friend Tony at Francesca's Pizzeria in Lindhurst. Let's check this place out. Francesca's is a little pizza parlor and it's got about six tables in it. And uh, it's a small little place, but uh, we're gonna try the food, it looks good. Here we are in Lindhurst at Francesca's Pizza Parlor. I'm here with my friend Tony Costanza and we are going to have lunch. And Tony's gonna share with us some secrets about sales in the free enterprise system. Stay what tuned. What secrets have you learned? Because you've been dealing a lot with printers in your career. What's the secret of making a sale to somebody that doesn't want to buy anything? Well, probably they like dealing with someone who comes off as honest and likable. Those are probably two characteristics. They want to feel comfortable with the person that they're about to do business with or possibly do business with. Well, that's important, building trust with the client or the potential client or the prospect. You have to build trust. What techniques do you use to do that? I just be myself. Be at ease. Be casual. I engage in conversation other than business items. Um, Comments about their pets, comments about their office, their home, um, just to show that you're very much like them, just another person that they're talking to. Let me ask you a question. Uh, Zig Ziglar just died. Have you ever... Oh, I used to listen to his tapes all the time. He's got a nice technique, too, and it involves listening. The client will tell you how they want to be sold. Have you found that to be true? Absolutely, and, and basically just engaging in a simple conversation is really what I find most helpful. Um, don't try to sell them anything. Uh, respond to their needs and wants. Engage them in a conversation that addresses their concerns or their interests. And again, just be yourself. Students are coming into the field now looking for jobs, but they're not in sales. Would you recommend that they get into sales? I would recommend that any person, sometime in their career, be involved in sales or the sales process. Most of your top Fortune 500 CEOs have been in sales at one time or another in their lives. It's that important. The art of conversation, the art of convincing people of uh, uh, the value of a product or a service is extremely important uh, as, a, as a tool set to have in, in one's career. Tony, what did you get? I got a very representative dish of Sicily. It's linguine, it's capers, it's kalamata olives, and shrimp in a marinara sauce. And there's anchovies in it too. And let's not forget those anchovies. So it's like a puttanesca. Definitely. Oh, yeah. How come you don't use the big spoon for that? Most Italians do. I had to learn how to do that. Mm. Oh, it's good, huh? Delicious. I the veal parmesan because, first off, it's almost a sin to cover good veal with parmesan cheese, but I, I happen to like it, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm Francesca, and she's the chef du jour. She makes all these fabulous dishes. So we were just eating, this is like puttanesca, right? Almost. Almost, right? It's it's different. It has the anchovies in it and everything like that. Yeah, the shrimps. Yeah, so what's the secret to the sauce? Garlic? Garlic and capers. Capers. What kind of tomatoes do you use? I say alta cucina. Alta cucina. Dig that. I'm going to try the veal. So, okay, so this is this is the veal parmesan. Oh, that's good. Nice fried cutlet. Oh, and the sauce is very good, too. Oh, yeah. Mocha bar. Very good. All made. And this is Francesca. Gazi. Exceeds all my expectations. This is an excellent representation of good home cooked Sicilian food. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, and you've had a lot of Italian food in your life. Quite a bit. Yeah. Where does this fall? This is definitely up there right around 10. Really? It's authentic. And it tastes great. Uh, another Italian meal in my life, and uh, the veal is pretty good. So when you get down here, try the veal or that um, that other dish. What? I don't know. It looks like puttanesca, but this the veal is very tender. Oh yeah. So um, we're sending these things back to the kitchen now. They didn't like it. Nah, it was terrible. I I don't know how. See? The 
Yeah, look at this. Left. It's disgusting. It's got to go back to the chef. The free enterprise system that we live under in America, everybody is their own brand. Everybody has to be in marketing, advertising, public relations, whether they want to be or not. In some cases, just making a resume is all they have to do when they get a job and they try to hold on to it forever. But salespeople are entrepreneurial just by their very existence. Do you find this to be true? Oh, absolutely. Um, a salesperson needs to create his own brand, his own image. And it's always evolving, it's always improving with every product they sell, with every job they have. Uh, they have an opportunity to improve on their product. And I can't stress that enough. Separation from the masses or individuality is a key uh, feature when it comes to building a brand. Create something that's unique, exciting, and it goes a long way. Do they make it here? Yes, everything is freshly made here. She, uh, honestly, about every day, she makes a new tiramisu because it goes so fast. Okay, so give us one with two spoons. Give myself a little espresso, and look at this tiramisu. It's homemade tiramisu. I can't believe it. Tony, tell me how good that thing is. Take a bite of that thing. Ooh. That looks fantastic. Oh, God. <laughs> What do you think? You've had tiramisu before. It tastes before. better than it looks. Oh, really? <laughs> it really does. Oh, there goes the weight. It's so light and fluffy and so flavorful. You gotta try it. Oh, it's very smooth. Just cutting into it. It's the texture and everything. I, I gotta tell you, I'm scared. This stuff looks really good. Oh, God. Oh, it's so good you want to punch your mother for never making it for you. Oh, this is this is top level tiramisu. If you come here, just order the tiramisu. But this is really this is really good, yummy. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry, Tony. This stuff is going bad. I don't want you to eat any more of this. Mm. Oh God. It's so sweet. It's making my eyes close. Come on, feed you. Come to Francesca. Francesca's Lindhurst. Love it.